Hey guys, this is Dan from HowToHeatPress.com and in today's video we're taking a look at how to cut multiple colours in Cricut Design Space. So we're using a couple of different SVGs which are both free and we'll link to in the description below. We'll also link to our blog post, How to Cut Multiple Colours with Cricut Design Space. There you go. So we also make a t-shirt using the Maker and the Easy Press. So you can go and take a look at that if that interests you. It's got a few more details. So back to Design Space and we'll start off with the Peacock SVG. So this one, when you download it from the website, it's already separated into these multiple colors. And so we upload it and it's all grouped together. So to begin with, we need to ungroup it. Or should we take a look first at what would happen if we just went to cut this as is? As is where is, this is an absolute nightmare. Look at that. What can you do with that? And then this one here is just the one little beady eye in the top left corner. It's not what we want at all. So to get everything to stay in the correct spot, We'll begin by ungrouping it up the top right here. And then we need to, it's still grouped in the individual colors into the five different colors, which is handy. So we'll select each one of them at a time. With this blue, I'm going to grab that little eyeball as well so that it doesn't really need to be cut in a separate color. So I'll come up so the eyeball's over here. You can hold down control and click and that now is we can group it together that's all one group now so next come down and click attach down the bottom right and so that's what's going to keep each of those parts in the correct spot we'll do it with the pink as well click on the pink part and attach now we'll go make it and we'll take a look at how everything's looking. The green, still an absolute nightmare. The purple, no better, maybe a little bit better. But the pink and the blue, uh, everything's in the correct spot. Although to be honest, I'm not sure what's going on with this wee frill because that's not there in the image some reason that's being shifted up there. However, that's just sometimes what happens. Now we'll take a look at that other SVG we've got. What have we got? Hello beautiful. Bring that in. So same sort of thing goes if we want to make the top line one color and the bottom line another color. We'll begin by ungrouping everything drag a box over the part you want one color you can change the color up the top here group it together and then attach if we go make it we can see the part we haven't touched is all just a mess up top whereas the one that we've attached to the mat is going to be cut in the proper location so we'll change this one as well make it a different color just for fun group and attach voila hello beautiful each in their own spot now what about if you want to have every second letter a different color i'll delete the beautiful just to make it a bit easier we will detach that since we've attached and then also ungroup it Click on the first letter, hold down control, and then select every second letter. And you'll see, even though it looks like we've selected everything there, it's just every second letter that's been selected. We can change the color, group it together, and attach. We have to do that with the other part as well. Select it, group it, attach it. So that's all attached, grouped. And if we went to make it, it's absolutely perfect. 
but that's all there is to cutting everything in different colors on different mats. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description as well to another post on how to create weeding boxes, which is really handy for intricate designs like the peacock one, if you decided to give that one a go. Or it just makes it a bit easier to, to find out where you're working. But otherwise, we'll leave it at that. Please subscribe if this has been any help to you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.